Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be episode 3 on the VX. If you um, watched the last video, I managed to glue the front end back on. There was a little bit of damage to the tub, um, the aluminium bit, but I think we'll get away with it. It all looks pretty solid and all the um, the bonnet and everything lined up really well when I, I just mock fit it at the moment, as you can see. Alright, in this video, we're going to be doing all the bodywork and dealing with that crashed front end hopefully fingers crossed in this video we get the thing painted i'm going to be painting it in here which is going to be interesting i painted a few things before and they've come out okay some things have come out terribly but some things have come out okay hoping this is one of the ones that comes out all right but stay tuned if you like stuff like this please subscribe let's get to it So here's the um, front end off on its own. This is the major bit of body work we've got to work on. So this, I mean, you can see how far this is all moved over. So that should be about there. I mean, I can't even get it there. So I think it's been whacked like here somewhere and or I think that's all been pushed in. So I've got to basically try and seal up this gap here because this whole area should be basically under there. Let's try and get this whole section over this way so that it can um, so they bring this corner in and then we can attach all these bits at the back that have all come off and recreate this bit here but yeah so what I'm going to do is get a Dremel and just grind out all of these cracks and here all of these grind every single crack out so we can just sort of create a bit more room I mean, this is the major area of work. There are also, there's a big crack here, there's a big crack here. That's quite bad there, to be honest. We're gonna reinforce all of these from the behind. There's one here too, yeah. So my um, fiberglass filler is all dried in the in the cracks here, and the uh, matting I put in the back is also dried. I actually did this the wrong way around. Um, it was just because of the weather. What I'd normally do is I'd grind out all these cracks with a Dremel in like a sort of so you make like a big deep channel. So then all the all the uh, cracks and stuff are free to join up where they were before it all got broken it, you'll have a lot more movement in it and you've got something for the uh, the fiberglass filler to adhere to adhere to don't know if that's right but yes and then what I would normally do is I'd go around the back 
and then I would make the biggest thing to do is key up the surface for the fiberglass matting to stick to. So I'd do the matting first and I normally cut like a small mat to go in the crack and then a bigger mat to go over the hole, over that whole one to sort of make it a bit stronger. And once you've done that, you can then start filling in the cracks with this uh, fibro fill stuff. That's what I would do. This is now very, very strong. Next step is I've made this little missing piece out of cardboard on the inside here. And then I'm just going to get some fiberglass matting and fold it over to try and recreate this sort of shape here. Try and recreate that shape. I'm also going to put a big piece of fiberglass over this one to strengthen it up. All right, so I'm just going to do these two fiberglass headlight buckets and then we can get to the bodywork on the other side.
All right, so the front end is on the car, and it actually is a really good color match um, to the rest of the car. It's just, it's not the best paint job I've ever done. Yeah, if you look closely, it's sort of orange peel. I mean, most of that will polish out, but the thing that's really annoyed me is I thought I bought four cans of paint to paint this front end, and I started the job thinking there was four when I opened the box, and when I actually got to the bottom of the box, there was only three in there, which meant halfway through I had to sort of try and conserve some paint, but it's not bad, it's not awful, but I could just they're just areas that could do with a little bit more red in them, because I can sort of see the primer through some of the areas. But it's overall, if you saw this in the street, you probably would think that looks fine. I think with a polish, it's going to look pretty good. Um, there's a few areas I would like to fix. Yeah, so when I was painting, this area was right in the dark, and I couldn't really see how much of paint I was applying. And I got too much at one point of the base coat, and it started to crack. It's not too bad, because I can, I can mask off here and just paint this one section. Luckily, it's just there, and it hasn't spread any further. But I think we've, with a polish up, this will look pretty good. The match is really good as well, I think. I don't know what it looks like on camera. I think what I can see, it looks pretty good. I'm going to give it a bit of a wash, and then I'm actually going to take it for a drive up, up and down, see what it's like. <laughs> All right, so I took it for a test drive. I don't know how well it went on the camera because I could see it wobbling all over the place. But yeah, it, it was okay. It's a bit shuddery. Um, these, the alarm system or whatever it is that keeps going off, the indicators keep flashing every. I don't know. They really every time I open a door or something, they start flashing. I don't know what's going on there. That's quite annoying. And also, when I was going down the road, they started flashing as well. But yeah, I've got the front end painted. In the next episode, we're going to be polishing it up, make it look nice probably fix some of the some of the paint things that I've, I've done wrong um try and get everything working i've got to take the front end off again to put that grill in and take it for an mot so we've got to get this thing mot'd re-registered back on the road and i can start using it and i cannot wait just from that little test drive it's going to be amazing stay tuned um i have new projects coming up as well i'm probably going to post a video on this horrible thing that i bought this Mitsubishi, um, it was absolutely disgusting. I'm sort of just using it as a work vehicle now, but it is, it was so moldy and it's just full of dead flies, it's horrible. Um, but I'll probably post a video on that. And hopefully we'll have some new projects in or more videos on this, because this isn't finished yet at all. This is nowhere near finished. I've got 
loads of stuff to do on it still. But yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. Stay tuned.